Morning everyone. So in today's maths lesson we are going to learn about a new symbol and the new symbol is called a multiplication sign. Multiplication sign and you'll see that this is it here. So it looks a little bit like the letter X. So multiplication sign, when we read a number sentence containing that we often say times instead or lots of instead and I'm going to explain that for you. So, as you can see, I've got some of my chocolate coins that I've managed to avoid eating so far. So, I have got one, two groups, and both of them have got three coins in. So, I can say I have got two lots of three, or two times three. So, two times three coins, two groups of three coins. So, I could write that as I've got two times three two lots of three coins and the total coins would be one two three four five six so two lots of three equals six so moving on to this now then so i have got an array here so i've got some rows and some columns and i've got some ice creams which i'm going to try and work out the total of so first of all i'm going to make my equal groups Let's do it in rows. So I've got one, two, three. And I'm just going to check that they're equal. So one, two, three, four ice creams. One, two, three, four ice creams. One, two, three, four ice creams. Good. So I've got one, two, three equal groups. And there are four ice creams in each group. So thinking about my addition number sentence that we've been working on for the last couple of days, if I wanted to work out the answer, I'd do four ice creams, add four ice creams, add four ice creams, because we've got three equal groups. And then to work out my answer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a shorter way of writing that would be to use my multiplication symbol or time. So I have got three equal groups. So there are three lots and of four ice creams because there's four ice creams in a group. So three times four equals, and the answer is still the same. There's 12 ice creams. So one last practice. We have got some fish now in an array. So again, I'm going to work out how many equal groups there are. So I'm just going rows. So I've got one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. So, and I can see that there's three fish in each group. So there are five equal groups and there are three fish in each group. So if I was making my addition number sentence, I've got three in each group. So three, add three, add three, add three, add three. I've got five threes because there's five equal groups. Equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, okay. So if I want to make my multiplication uh, number sentence, so I have got, so there are five equal groups. So there's five lots of three fish. So five times three, and then the answer is 15. So it's 15 fish in total. So five times three equals 15. So today is just a few questions for you on the worksheet. I want you to work out the addition number sentence and then see if you can use the multiplication sign to create a multiplication number sentence. Uh, let us know how you get on on Twitter and look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.